Hey guys, welcome to WebDev Cloud. Today in this video, we are going to learn about AMI in AWS. So let's get started. First of all, let's understand what is an AMI. So AMI stands for Amazon Machine Image, which is fully maintained by AWS that provides us information to launch our EC2 instance. So basically the type and version of an operating system comes under AMI which we select while launching our EC2 instance. So let's launch our instance to see the option of an AMI. So let's click on the EC2 and from the option let's choose running instance. So as of now, there are no instance which are running. So let's launch our first instance by clicking launch instance button. Let's call it AMI test instance. Let's scroll down. So here we can see the type of an operating system and the version of an operating system below that. So let's choose our operating system, let's say Ubuntu and Ubuntu 20 and from this instance type, let's also choose T2 Micro which is free tier and from key pair, let us choose the key which we had already created in previous video, it's called test EC2 keys network settings let's keep it as it is for now and in advanced detail let us put some script that i am al i already prepared so the script is required to install apache and then put our custom index.html with this content which is called this is an ami based ec2 instance so let's just directly copy and paste into, into the user data section and then we need one instance and rest of things looks good so let's click on launch instance button let's check let's filter instance by their state Let's refresh a few times. Yes. So our instance is in running state and it is still in initializing mode. So let's wait for a few seconds. Okay. Now our instance is up and running. So we will open its public domain in next tab. Let's select the instance and copy the public domain from here and open it into the separate tab. can see it is not loading anything into the page so there must be something in the security group let's check it out let's check the security group assigned to this instance it's called launch wizard one let me open it in separate tab okay so you can see uh, only port 22 is allowed for now so we need to make port 80 allowed as well in order to uh, access Apache from the term, uh, from the browser. So let's edit inbound rule. And add port 80 for HTTP, port 80 and for everyone and save the rule. Okay, so now port 80 has been added, so we'll be able to access this. Okay, so here it says this is an AMI based EC2 instance, the same we had configured via user data section. 
Now let's check out the interesting thing with an AMI, which is we can create our own AMI from our existing EC2 instance. Means the one we have just created here. Also, let's not forget that we have already installed Apache onto our instance as well. So if we create an AMI from this instance and then launch instance back from the AMI, then it will already have Apache installed in that. Let's understand the same via the diagram shown here. So in first step, there, are, there is a AWS manage AMI and we are going to launch EC2 instance from that. And in next step, we are going to install Apache with our custom index file into that EC2 instance. And in next step, we'll create AMI from this uh, EC2 instance uh, along with Apache installation. And then we'll launch back EC2 instance from the AMI that we had already created from our existing EC2 instance. So till now we have completed these three steps, which is we have uh, launched our EC2 instance and we have already installed Apache with our custom index file into that uh, EC2 instance. So let's jump to the next step by creating AMI from our EC2 instance. We are back in the AWS console where we will create our AMI from our EC2 instance. So to do that, select an instance and from the options here choose image and templates and from the sub navigation choose create image and it will ask you for the detail of the image such as image name so let's provide it test oops test instance image or well, let's call it uh, apache instance image and which is in image description which is optional uh, reboot is not required instance volume which is 8 GB in size for now which is also perfect for now so let's click on create image let's check the status of our image It will take few minutes to create the image or say AMI from our instance. So I will forward this. Here we are. Our AMI has been created with the status available. Now this AMI holds each and everything that we have in our EC2 instance, which is Apache and its custom index.html file with this content, of course. So if we look at this from our diagrams perspective, then we are done creating AMI from our EC2 instance here and only final step of creating instance back from AMI is remaining. So let's do that. So let's go to the screen of an AMI and launch instance from that. So select AMI and click on launch instance from AMI. So it will take us to the same screen of launching the instance. But here in the AMI section, we can see that our custom AMI has been selected rather than the AMI is provided by the AWS. So here are the AWS provided AMIs and if we want to select our own AMI, then we can switch to the tab called My AMIs. And in that two options are given AMI owned by me and AMI shared with me. So someone can also share his AMI with me as well. So here we would like to create our own AMI instance. So we'll choose owned by me and let's also 
give some instance name ami instance 2 so here t2 micro is good let's also select the key pair test ec2 keys also allow http and let's just launch an instance so again it will take few seconds to launch an instance so let's quickly go to all instances let's just switch to the previous tab and refresh okay so here another instance is in running state but it is still initializing so we'll fast forward this so here our new instance from ami has been created somehow the name hasn't been assigned to it let me just quickly give it a name ami instance dash 2 so from diagrams point of view the last step of creating ec2 instance from our own ami has been executed so this instance should have apache installed so let's check the public domain of our newly launched ec2 instance from the ami so let's just select this instance and copy the public domain and let's put it into the separate tab here we can see Apache is there along with our custom index HTML. So this was actually the basic example of an AMI. In other use cases, we can have bigger projects running on the instance and we can make AMI out of them to share with other AWS users as well. Also, AMI is useful to copy the EC2 instance along with all its installation and storage volumes. Also, we can sell our AMI to AWS Marketplace, which is wholly different thing. But uh, yes, we can do that as well. So that is it so far for the AMI in this session. Hope you liked the video. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, have a nice time.